Well, the U.S. government has also moved to support a group of American historians protesting Japan's attempt to change a history text. This move is also expected to pressure Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe during his upcoming trip to the U.S. this spring. With more, here's our Connie Kim. The U.S. government has lent its support to a group of U.S. historians who have been protesting Japan's attempts to whitewash history. The State Department said Sunday that it strongly supports academic freedom as part of the foundation of a democratic society. It urged Tokyo to approach its historical wrongdoing through healing and reconciliation. Now, this comes after a group of 19 historians issued a joint statement expressing opposition to Japan's efforts to pressure U.S. publisher McGraw-Hill to change how the sexual slavery issue is described in one of its textbooks. Historians estimate that 200,000 women, mostly Koreans, were forced by the Japanese army to serve in military brothels during World War II. A collective statement by history scholars is seen as unusual, and it's expected to put pressure on Abe during his upcoming trip to the U.S. this spring. The trip will be Abe's first U.S. visit in about two years, and experts say he'll try to use it as an opportunity to deepen Tokyo's alliance with Washington. Abe also wants to push ahead with efforts to revise the country's pacifist constitution and give the country the right to collective self-defense, in other words, to allow the Japanese military to aid allies under attack. Experts say another item on Abe's to-do list is to complete the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal that would strengthen Japan-U.S. economic cooperation in the region. But with U.S. pushing to restore trilateral security cooperation between South Korea and Japan, analysts say it seems that Tokyo will be left with no choice but to address its past wrongdoing in order to move forward with what Japan has on its agenda. Connie Kim, Arirang News.